I don't use it myself, but I know a lot of people out there make use of the Steam Flat Pack. And surprising nobody ever, I use a rolling release. Arch, by the way. But if you're using a typical point release or God forbid an LTS release, having things like Mesa bundled with Steam can actually be a massive benefit. You can get way better performance, or in some cases, massive feature changes like the new graphics pipeline. Now that's not to say it's always better and you should always use the Steam Flat Pack, but in many cases it can be a massive improvement. And that's great and all, but did you know that Ubuntu offers the same thing as a Snap? Now I've made my opinions very clear about Snaps, multiple times in the life cycle of this channel, but putting that to the side, I know there are some people out there that do like them. This was first announced back in April 29th, 2022. Level up your Linux gaming with the new Steam Snap. And it's been sort of chugging along in this early access state for quite a while now, but very recently, a blog post, a forum post, whatever you want to call it, was put out looking for new people to go and test it. When the forum loads, there we go. Steam call for testing. Did you know we are aiming to move the Steam Snap out of early access to stable soon? Did you know today is the first day of the Steam Spring Sale? That was a week ago as I'm recording this. Um, the sale literally just ended. Have you ever wanted to combine playing video games with contributing to the Ubuntu ecosystem? Well, you're in luck. Since publishing Steam as a snap under the Early Access banner, we've been working feverishly to resolve issues and ensure it works well. We've done our own testing of the most popular Steam titles, which should just work based on reports on ProtonDB. You can find game reports for those on GitHub discussions. We'll look at that in just a moment. Now we need your help to provide game reports for your favorite games and make sure we've got maximum coverage of as many Steam titles as possible. This is trying to resolve a lot of the same issues addressed by the Steam flat pack, providing a new version of Mesa, providing all of these new dependencies, which on something like Ubuntu, especially if we're talking about the Ubuntu LTS, you know, can actually be quite noticeable, especially if we're talking about an LTS, you know, a couple of years into its life cycle, you're two, three years in, and it's getting to that kind of retirement point. You're probably going to want things to be a little bit newer. But it also helps out with something else. The absolute tangled mess that is the 32-bit libraries. Basically, the only reason a modern Linux user is going to install all of these 32-bit libraries is Steam. Nothing else. Nothing else whatsoever. I'm sure there's like a weird edge case and someone's going to tell me about it, but the regular user is Steam. So if it's just Steam that needs these libraries, let's bundle it up with Steam and no longer think about it. Now, when it comes to this testing, they're not necessarily just looking for issues. Obviously, finding issues is, I guess you could say, a good thing because it gets dealt with while it's still in early access, but even if a game works exactly like it should be, no extra issues whatsoever, even that they want to see reported, because what they're doing is trying to sort of build up this database of games to see what the general state is currently like. And many of these games, you know, do work exactly like they would in any other version of Steam, whether it's a native package, whether it's the flat pack or anything else that might be out there. But some of the games seem like they have extra issues which wouldn't be there in any other case. For example, Witcher 3, which on ProtonDB has a platinum rating, is completely balked and will not open. Elden Ring, a game that has a gold rating, also completely balked, even though it should work fine. Cyberpunk 2077, which, you know, you might still have this idea in your head that Cyberpunk is a really buggy game, but on ProtonDB, it has a gold rating. It is basically no buggier than it is over on Windows. Also balked, 
and then Hogwarts Legacy, that game completely balked as well. All four of these games and any other games which are rated highly on ProtonDB which aren't playing nicely in this project, by all accounts, should be working perfectly fine. Now, as I mentioned earlier, it's not to say that every single game is completely broken. Most games are perfectly fine. Games like, say, Enter the Gungeon, Rocket League, Dota 2, and most of the other games work exactly like they should. But it kind of should be expected that things might be, let's say, a little bit wonky. So even though Canonical did work directly with Valve to make this Steam Snap, they didn't just go and make it by themselves. Running Steam in a Snap environment and making use of app armor isn't the way the project is typically run. What makes this funnier is the way the Steam runtime works. So the Steam runtime actually does make use of sandboxing. And there is a part of the Steam runtime called Pressure Valve. Now, Pressure Valve is based on a project you may recognize. Um, let's just say... Let's just say it might be another containerized solution. Pressure Valve has flatpak derived code and makes use of bubble wrap. So basically having a Steam Snap, we also have the Steam Runtime making use of flatpak code, effectively, not exactly the case, you have a flatpak running inside of a Snap. Now I know it's not exactly like that, it's a little bit different, but it does kind of amuse me. And when you're dealing with two sandboxing solutions at the same time, even if they're supposed to work with each other, problems can start to happen. As we've seen from some of these games like Cyberpunk, for example, specifically reporting issues about app armor. Somewhere in here, was it this one? Actually, no, it wasn't that one. It was Elden Ring. Yes, it was Elden Ring where it's like, ah, I don't know what to do with this. Just deny it. But the only way that things are going to get better is if things are actually being tested. So if for whatever reason you feel like actually going and doing it, maybe you got like a free weekend, maybe you genuinely like snaps and want to give people more of a reason to want to be using them, what you need to do is a couple of very simple things. Firstly, make sure you have Steam actually installed as a snap and install it from the candidate channel. The candidate channel is basically the step between beta and stable. It's like just before stable, getting ready to sort of ship things out. Then once you've done that, go and run sudo snap connect steam colon hardware dash observe sudo snap connect steam colon system dash observe and then every time you want to make a report, all you need to do is run steam.report and then the name of the report. This will then bring you into a web interface where you can go and make your report in this fashion and fill out all the information. Make sure, unlike a lot of the people in here, you fill it out properly. Uh, let's see if we can find one. Here we go. You have people in here putting the tags in the title, and they're not the only person doing it. You'll see this a bunch of times, and the more that people do this, the more that people think it is the correct thing to do. There's not many of them, but make sure, make sure you read what it says to do, and do what it says. Now, basically what these two commands do, will make sure this is getting auto-filled with system information, so you don't have to go and just run it yourself. Things like the snap revision and things like that can be a little bit tedious to go and find. So letting it go and do that itself will make it considerably easier. As it currently stands today, the Steam Snap is not ready for everybody to go and use. It is early access and there is going to be a couple of speed bumps here and there. But if you do want to make it better, I highly encourage you to go and do so. I know that I've said plenty of times I don't like snaps and given plenty of reasons why I don't like them, but for those people out there who do like them and do want to have a good experience with them, I don't see any reason to stop those people doing that. It's just Ubuntu doing their own little weird Ubuntu thing, and that's totally fine. 
So let me know, how do you use Steam? Do you use a native package? Do you use a flat pack? Do you use uh, the snap here? Do you even buy video games? Or do you acquire them through other means? I would love to know. If you like the video, go and like the video. And if you really like the video and want to become one of these, I should really update this list. It's very out of date. Amazing people over here, plus the people who are not on the list yet. Patreon, Scrub, Celebrity, Pay, linked down below. That's going to be it for me and... My old mic stand broke, so we're using the one I got off of eBay a couple of years ago. $15. Why have I ever tried to change this thing? It's absolutely incredible. Bye-bye.